Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video I'll be sharing my 2023 planner setup. So I'm currently using this personal size file effects mold in with Franklin Covey compact inserts. But I'll be moving into this pocket planner here for the next half of the year so I wanted to get on here and share with you guys before it goes onto the shelf. So if that's something you'd be interested in watching I would love for you to stick around and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get into it. So personal file effects, Franklin Covey compact inserts. The inserts are half an inch larger than personal inserts. That would come standard with a personal size file effects. I'm also using slim dividers so there's not too much overhang and the strap closes fine. I'm not sure if that would be the case for all personal size file effects models, but the compact inserts have worked well in here as well as my personal file effects Holborn. If anyone else is using Franklin Covey compact inserts in a personal size model, I would love to know which ones you're using, just if I wanted to add anything to my collection. So before I get into the contents, I just wanted to let you guys know I don't want to spend too much of your time saying where everything is from, so I'll have everything linked in the description as well as timestamps if I feel there are any that could be helpful. If you see something that's not linked, it's probably something that I made and I don't have available. So the inside front cover, I don't have much going on. I'm not using this as a wallet, but when I move into the pocket, um, I'll be doing a wallet and planner combo, which is what I usually do in a pocket planner. But in here, I just have a magnetic clip. Um, I have a pen in here. This was my grandma's. She always carried it around in her purse. So I kept that after she passed away. Um, I have some miscellaneous stickies and page flags. I have these uh, washi stickers from Jet Pens. Um, let's see, this is quite snug in there. I have this if found please return card. It just has my number, email address. And then I have some stickies or some stickers in here and my planner key. And then in this pocket here I have my monthly stickies for the rest of the year. At the front of my planner I have this flyleaf to protect all the loose components on this page where I have the current month sticky. I cross off the days as they pass and highlight the current week. A photo of my sweet girl Halston, a book quote, a little doodle from my significant other Chris, and a post office reminder because I'm always forgetting the Saturday hours. And I'm going to highlight this now, actually. And all of this is on this butterfly acetate here. Back here, I have a pouch. I have acetate in here as well. I keep a note from Chris and then a photo of my grandma. From there it goes right into my monthlies. I have this year at a glance that I sticker as the months pass. Behind that I have a list of things going on sometime in the year that I don't have the exact dates for yet. These monthlies I've been offering as a freebie for a few years now. Um, I like to add tabs to mine. The first page I use to track appointments, events, and if they need to be booked or cost money and when I've done those things and then those reminders in here correspond with info within the actual monthly pages. I like to reference this when we go over finances to make sure everything is booked and budgeted for. And then to the left I like to just add movie releases that I'm potentially interested in. So I'm going to quickly flip through the monthlies. They're pretty simple. I just add events, appointments, and happenings. I don't keep anything routine specific in here as I like to do that digitally. So in February, I added this um, 
pocket budget tracking page. I wish I kept up with that. It was super helpful. And then I just check off the days as they pass by. So here's the current month, actually. Let's see. I have this removable page marker in my current month with some laminated flowers on it from our garden a few years ago. And I keep some random printable sticky notes on here for online orders and like a pending inbox. These next few pages will be pretty empty since starting in July I'll be moving into that pocket planner. At the back of the monthly freebies, I have this list page. I haven't come up with a use for it yet. I used to keep dates beyond the current year, but I've since moved that digitally. And you'll notice when I get into here compared to my first setup video, things are a bit more simple. In this planner, I don't keep a lot of random lists in here anymore. If I don't feel like something in here is beneficial on the go or day to day, I like to keep them digitally. If I do want to add something to one of those lists and I can't access them, and only have my planner. I still write them down in here, but I'll transfer it when I have like a weekly or monthly planning session. So this first section here is tasks and I have this photo of my niece and a cute letter from her. So this section didn't really stick and get used the way I had intended. So it's kind of a mess now. When I move into the pocket planner, I'll have things rearranged differently. But this first page, I highlight days I went to the gym. As you can see, I stopped in April, so this has been completely neglected. This year at a glance here, um, neglected. You can see my sticky says, needs overhaul, this section isn't functioning and that's okay, you'll figure it out. I probably wrote that months ago, so I never figured it out, but maybe that was also me figuring it out. So I won't be using these in my pocket planner. This 52 week tracker was for cleaning, but I'm doing that differently now. So I'm not using this. And then this was gonna be for Peanuts Planner Co. related dates, but I never started that as well. So like I said, this whole section is just a mess. Here I have another pouch with some acetate in here. Uh, the sticky note is to track changing the cat water filter. Another photo here of Halston when she was maybe two. My old girl is turning 14 in September and I've had her since I was 16 and I'm about to turn 30. Um, so yeah, I've had her since I got her out of a little cardboard box the day she was born. I didn't take her when she was born, but you know, like I picked her when she was born. And yeah, she's been my sweet girl ever since. Back here, I have a photo of me eating bugles. Did anybody else love these and put them on your fingers? Um, sometimes when I'm being too critical of myself, I think about her. This is who I'm talking to. She deserves self-compassion. So I highly recommend keeping a photo of little you in your planner. This is a photo of some other person's dog. I don't know whose. I probably just, I found this on Reddit or Pinterest or something and we like to use it as a mood reference around here. So I'll just ask Chris how he's feeling today, like what dog he's feeling like. How are you guys feeling today? I think I'm feeling like a five or six. This next divider here says planning. I have this photo here of these cute ladies taking a steam bath and a sticky that says, please take a banya. Just to remind myself to get into our little fire burning sauna out back which is part of my indigenous Supiak Alutic culture. Traditionally, we call it Makawik, but adopted the Russian term Banya. It's something I grew up with in the Alaskan village that I'm from and something I'm super fortunate we're able to have here in our, um, at our home here in Tennessee. So yeah, love this, it's so cute. And then 
I like to play around with different weeklies, so I don't like to confine myself to any one type of layout. I'm going to quickly flip through these, but I'm not going to go too much into detail. I change up how and what I track and plan depending on what I feel or what's happening in my life. Sometimes I skip weeks, sometimes I don't use this tracker, sometimes I use that tracker. So I don't have any set method to really break down for you guys. Um, maybe more of a foundational system that I can share in another video at some point. So these were just like a weekly daily layout. So it was just a weekly page followed by some dailies. Some different weeklies that I tried here. Different weeklies. Here you can see I just went with stickies and note paper. Can't go wrong with that sometimes. More weeklies. These are my newest freebies. Here I add random stuff. Put tasks on here for one of these days, I guess, throughout this week. And then I tracked some of Kitty's medications here. So yeah, this is the newest freebie. I love this one. Don't know what's going on here. I guess I tried to tip in like a little pocket layout. And then these are my most recently, or the, the weeklies that I've been using most recently that I'll be releasing soon. I've just kind of been testing them. And then my most current week I have my removable bookmark here. They're also going to be releasing this soon, um, which just has page flags over a timetable. I keep other printable stickies here with tasks I want to keep on my radar, but no set date. Let me put that back in here. Yeah, and that concludes my weeklies. I always keep this sticky at the last week to remind myself to print more inserts. Behind the weekly pages, I keep a few daily pages available if I want to use them. Back here is a card from my nephew. I punched it in and then sandwiched the next divider in here. So my next section is other. So in my other section, I keep all the pages I don't need day to day, but feel are beneficial to have in my planner, maybe on the go or accessed enough to justify them not being digital. So as you can see, these are actually personal size inserts that have been tiered in. And the reason I did that was because I didn't want them to distract me from the pages I do use every day. So when this section is closed, you can't actually see any of the tabs. Before I would have all of these pages sectioned into categories, each with its own visible divider, typically finance, reference, and wellness. And for some reason, because I could see those tab sections, it made me feel like I had pages that I had to keep up with day to day. I would see finance and think I have to go check my finance section to make sure I'm tracking everything. I'd see wellness and the same thing. When in reality, I spend most of my time in my weekly pages. I have systems in place which tell me if I need to access other pages or any information digitally. So don't need to go looking for like extra work regarding updating my planner. So having these as needed pages tiered in, it resolves a lot of planner overwhelm that I had in the past. I'm gonna flip through these, but I have some sensitive information here, so it will mostly be censored. Um, this large checklist is used as an index for all of these pages, which I have tabbed and easy to find. I use A to Z tabs in the past as well for this type of setup and it also worked nice but it was a little bit more bulky than I was needing. So here are appointment notes. I also have this appointment sticky, printable sticky. 
my add to planner list where I keep where I write down everything that I want to add into my planner and change in my planner. Contact reference, I like to keep one for my primary care provider and psychiatrist. Um, contacts, I keep a few just in case my phone becomes unreliable in a situation where I might need to contact someone using a different phone, a public phone. Um, emergency numbers, so poison control, power outages, locksmith, emergency vet. And then I have some health logs for myself, for Chris, and then for the critters, I use this categorized list here, but I never use them, so they won't be in my pocket when I move into there. Um, if I really do need to log anything health related, I'll probably just put it in the corresponding month. Then I have my grocery guide, which is another freebie. I think I had this in my previous setup as well. So we use this to help help um, make grocery lists. And it has all of our staples and things we like categorized into different like food categories. Then I have a lending log to track money lended and borrowed, an RX tracker, and then some bank information sheets I haven't filled out yet. Back here I have some file effects dividers where I keep projects or anything I might want to give its own section. So like if I wanted to take a vacation, which I do, I might create one pertaining to that trip to keep all of my notes and info for that specific trip. And then these stickies here just show which of these project sections are active or inactive and then I will move this flag depending on what it is and then I will flip this tab as well because it's gray here so when I'm looking at it from this view I can see that I have one active project here which is pink. Then I have just some random stickies in this that I haven't set up a section for. Um, in each of these inactive ones, I just keep a couple pages here, so if I do want to start a project on anything that requires its own section, I am able to do that. Next I have this card holder with some planning routine cards. They're completely invisible to me right now. I need to update them. It has weekly and monthly planning routines on them referenced. And then my last section here is notes. I have this little scale here to remind myself if I fuck around, I will find out. Um, did anyone else grow up hearing this or was it just my mom and scary native aunties? Like if you're doing something, you're getting into something you're not supposed to be and they say, go ahead, fuck around and find out then. And then I have some random stickies here. This pouch, another pouch, is a photo and letter and drawing from my little sister. And then note paper back here. So I like to keep this note section for temporary info dumping, something that doesn't need a project section and will most likely be processed or dealt with and then thrown out. Here I have a page marker. I like to use this to mark my most available note page. I like that it's also a ruler and a straight edge. Then blank pages. And then here I have a couple of removable dashboards. I like to have these available in my planner to add sticky notes to, and then I'm able to place them in whatever area of my planner that I need to see those sticky notes. So those are just sandwiched in my note paper. And then back here I have another pouch with more acetate. I have this reminder to myself and then I have some of these little stickers that go on my, um, what's it called? My year at a glance. Back here is just a little cat card. I think I got this at a bookstore. And then here I have this sturdy page lifter with some of the post-it, the noted post-it brand sticky lists. 
So I like to have this page lifter back here to keep the back pages from curling up under the rings. This cute So Gay sticker. And then I have this notebook. I taped a card to it. I've been using this as needed for supplemental daily pages. I just write the date and then sections of just random stuff. I have a little list in here for a more simplified cleaning system. Like as I mentioned, I don't use that cleaning tracker in the, um, what's it called? The task section anymore. And then I just made this little bookmark here. Yeah, and that's it. I don't have anything else in this pocket or back here. My pen that I'm currently using is a Uniball Signo, 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 I don't know, with an Energel refill. And then I made this little elastic, this extra pen loop with elastic and hot glue. So I'm able to just like stick a highlighter in here if I wanted to. And that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if so, please give it a like. It would mean so much to me. My next one will probably be on my pocket planner, and hopefully not five years later. Here's a little sneak peek. It's not fully set up yet, still in progress, but more on that another time. If you have any questions or would like me to share anything else, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.